Hey guys, how's it going? So today's project is putting together a cut flower arrangement from whatever I can find out in the garden, which there's not a whole lot going on right now, and uh, grocery store flowers. So sometimes this process can be really easy if we find good flowers at the store, and sometimes it can be really challenging. Now, I haven't been to the store in about three days. The last time I was there, they didn't have a ton, so I'm hoping that they had a shipment between then and now. Uh, and I thought you guys just might like to see this process, like how I go about this in the winter, and what some of the things I like to cut from are. Uh, I know a lot of you are in the same place as me, like I'm getting ready to plant a big cut flower garden this year and a lot of you already do or you're planning to do the same thing as well so I think it's something that a lot of us are interested in I hope and we're actually making this arrangement for my parents because they help out so much with Benjamin in fact he's out there this morning Aaron and I had a project we needed to get done and it's their day off and they're just always helping us out so I like to do something every once in a while just small just to say thank you so anyway we're actually heading down to Marshall's first I want to see if we can find a new vase to put these flowers in. A lot of what I see is just a little bit too modern for our taste. Well, Marshall's was a total bust. Everything in there is a little bit too trendy and modern. So I think I am going to head up to the garden center because I know I can find something awesome there. Hello. I'm good, how are you doing? Good. Oh, look at that, that's interesting. For candles maybe. So the thing about getting a vase down here is it's most likely going to be a pot with a drain hole that we're going to have to convert into a vase. I was kind of hoping to pick something up that my mom hadn't seen before, but I always know I can find something really pretty here. This would be kind of fun. So I'm just checking on some of the new stuff that they got in to see if there's anything that would make a good vase. Oh, I kind of like that. I think it's supposed to be a candle holder. So I recently just planted some hyacinths in these containers. There's three different sizes. This would make for an interesting vase because I think the wire cloach thing over the top would kind of act as a frog and keep your branches and flowers in place. So that is an option. So I decided to grab both of these. So depending on what kind of flowers I find, I can choose which vase I think matches it the best and then I'll use the other one for something else because I like them both too. I love the square low shape of this one and it looks like the drainage hole wasn't punched all the way through. So it appears like this one will be watertight, which is awesome. Same with this one. I like the fact that we can maybe use this wire grid as kind of a frog for all the branches and stuff. Uh, and this one is also watertight. So I'm really happy with those options. Now we need to go look for some flowers. The sun decided to come out, which is awesome. And I'm just crossing my fingers that we find something good in here. This is usually what I go for right here. It's looking pretty picked over. Darn. But I do see a few tulips and then there's some filler flowers we can grab. Let me give you guys a little tour of what's here. So here's the blue section. See, you can see the irises are already bad. There's some status. Some Eryngium, which we may use. Some Campanula, those are pretty. I like these. Those are gorgeous. Alstroemeria, that's a pretty color carnation right there. Mmm, I like those Snapdragons, those are pretty. There are some roses too. These are pretty, aren't they? Look at that little blush of pink. Those might work.
So here's what we ended up with. We've got a dozen of these really pretty roses. We've got snapdragons. There's a couple different colors of tulips. One bunch of filler, which I don't probably need, but I think it'll be pretty. And then a little bit of pincushion flower. So even though they didn't have a new shipment, I'm pretty pleased with what we found. Um, I did spend right around $40, which I don't typically spend that much, but I don't typically shoot videos on it. <laughs> so I always uh, tend to over prepare a little bit. So now we're gonna head home and put this thing together. The sun decided to come out, so I'm just gonna set up on this table outside in the shade and put together the arrangement. I do need to go grab my clippers and a pitcher of water and possibly some chicken wire to act as a frog. What I wanna do first, because I think I want to use this one right here because this is just such a unique shape and all that for a vase, I'm gonna pour some water in here just to make sure that it is in fact watertight because if it's not, We'll have to do something to retrofit it. No water, I'm gonna give it a minute. Isn't that a pretty bunch of flowers? I just love it. So I do have my water, my chicken wire, my flowers, and then while we wait to see if any water leaks out of this, we'll run out into the garden and get a few branches just to create our base. For this part, I usually lean on any kind of evergreen that we have. Um, so I'm gonna go check euonymus, junipers, I've got a viburnum right here. In fact, let me turn the camera around. This viburnum keeps its leaves and it looks really pretty, especially like I love it when I can use stuff like this. These are spent berries right here. They're just all dried up, but those would look really pretty in this arrangement. So a lot of the hellebore foliage is not looking very good, but look what I just saw. We've got some action over here. How exciting. Oh, I love it. Now a little bit of this euonymus, you can see some of the, look at these, some of the berries, aren't those cool? The orange totally doesn't go with the pink scheme I'm going with. So we're going to try to get mostly leaves here. Oh, these hellebores are looking awesome too. I think I'm gonna grab some of this Leyland Cypress because you see how it's growing right into my bloomerang lilac. This has grown so much since we moved in because that bloomerang fit really well when we initially planted it. So here's everything. We've got the viburnum branches, euonymus, and leyland cypress. I think that's all we're gonna need. I mean, this is a lot of flowers for one vase. Uh, so I might get more than one arrangement out of this, but it looks like this is dry. It's not leaking any water, which is awesome. So what I'll be doing is crunching up this chicken wire into kind of a sphere, and I'll place it right down in the container, and that will act as my frog to help hold the branches in place. I'll create a base structure out of my evergreen first, and then I'll start popping flowers in. Usually I start with the bigger flowers first, so Anything that's bolder, like probably the roses, I'll start with a base layer of those and just build from there. And I have no idea what I'm doing exactly. Like I'm not a professional florist. I just have a lot of fun I'm messing with flowers like this. Sometimes they turn out awesome and I love them. Sometimes they don't turn out so great, but I figure stuff out. When I screw it up, I figure out what I did wrong and I can kind of try not to do that again. <laughs> Um, and sometimes I like to just like put them together and then I'll tear them apart if they're just like kind of mediocre and I'll create something different. It's just one of those things I like to do. So I think what I'm going to do is just set the camera up and let you see this thing unfold <laughs> and hopefully we get something really pretty in the end. I think my mom will like it either way. So anyway, here we go. That's what it looks like on the inside.
I think it turned out really pretty. So starting with the vase, I'm really happy I went with that one. And I'm honestly not as comfortable arranging in taller vases than they are wide, if that makes sense. Like I'm used to arranging in shallow wide bowls and it just lends to kind of a more free looking arrangement. But I think this turned out good anyway. Like I just wanted to make sure I had enough branching coming down so that it looked more natural and less stiff, if that makes sense. And then, you know, the addition of these kinds of things coming out and then like the flowing branch and then, you know, just some additional ones coming out the top really helped too. I actually got to a point where I had to stop because I didn't have enough room in the vase. <laughs> like I kept on trying to jam uh, stems down in there and there wasn't any room and I broke a couple. So I just decided to call it good. I did not design the back as full. Let me show you. There's a little bit, there's some branches and a few leftover roses, but I bet that this one is going to be displayed with this side being the front. Cause I can kind of picture where my mom will put this. Here's what I had left over. So I have one package of snapdragons, one package of tulips. There were two roses that didn't look that great. And I don't know if you guys can see the detail, but they look a little bit like ragged on the edges. So I didn't use those. A couple of Ioannis branches, one Viburnum branch, and then a Leyland Cypress branch. So I can actually incorporate all these things together in a smaller vase and just make a second arrangement. So out of an arrangement like this, I typically get about a week. Um, I have to top it up with water every single day, but I get about a week out of these type of flowers. I might have to pop one or two out. Um, as we go because sometimes like a flower just won't drink and it just starts to wilt and look bad And so you just have to pull it out and kind of fluff things around where it was at and it's usually not a big deal At the end of a week, I'll usually like the roses will possibly look a little bit sad I might have to pull some things out. So what I like to do is just take the whole thing apart I'll take everything out pull out all the good stuff recut the bottoms and then create a new arrangement And you can kind of keep doing that until you're dwindled down to the last little bit um, or you can add in some fresh flowers at that point. So now I'm going to pack this up in the truck. I might have to get Aaron to drive for me so that I can hold it and not slosh water everywhere. And we'll take it out to my parents' house. One last look. Oh, behind the scenes. <laughs> this is what it looks like where you can't see. Oh boy. Okay, keep looking at that instead. There's the pink tulips looking really pretty. Very simple. Hey, Aaron. Ooh, where's Aaron? What's up? <laughs> Would you like to drive for me so I can hold the arrangement? Yes. Okay. I've got to double check where the water level is here. Okay, I got about an inch clearance. Gentle. <laughs> Ginger. Okay. I'm in. I think it rode okay. Does it look a mess? No, it looks good. Hello. Hey. Oh, oh, look, there's CS. What is that? What is that? This oh is for you. That's beautiful. What is this for? <laughs> that is Benjamin. <laughs> that's beautiful. Hey, Laura. Where'd you oh. get that? Where'd I get the vase? Does Walmart? that look? Oh, <laughs> I love that. Oh, this beautiful. is the back. I love it. Yeah, it is beautiful. Oh my I, gosh. I know where that came from. That's yeah. beautiful. Oh, this is nice. Oh, yes. We've had a really good time. Benjamin was out here until he had to go down for a nap. Oh, Benjamin's sleeping. Yeah, he's sleeping. He had M&Ms and a fire. He was helping us, though. So nice. He was working outside. Yeah, he built the fire. Oh, no. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Teaching him the skills early. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. This, this is yeah, gorgeous. Really nice. I want to see where you're going to put it. Oh, okay. This is Bird Feeder Central right here. <laughs> I want to. I had an idea of where you were going to put it. Oh yeah? But I didn't know for sure. Let me take off my boots. Okay. There's oh, there's Benjamin's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and his little, little cute, cute little shoes. shoes. Yeah, look at his little shoes. He needs some muck boots. I need to get him some for this yeah. spring. Well, I could put it on the flower table, which this is this that, is where it should go. That's this where I thought it would place. probably go. Yeah. Let me see if I can just Oh yeah. Back. I think that'd be fine. And put this right here. Look how beautiful. Ta-da! Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, it looks good on that table. I love that. You might have to fuss with the flowers. Like, no. I they were bouncing around in the car I a bit. It's perfect. Oh my gosh, honey, that is beautiful. Super unnecessary, but I love it. <laughs> 
Well, it, life wouldn't be fun if we didn't do unnecessary I things. Know, that's so true. Well, they liked the arrangement, so I'm really happy, and it went exactly where I thought it was going to go. Mom usually has some kind of a fresh arrangement or house plants or something on this table in their entryway. Um, and it looks really pretty right there, so it makes me happy. So anyway, that's it for today's video. I just thought you guys might like to see the process of how we come up with living arrangements, cut arrangements in the winter, and still utilizing some things from our garden. Like you wouldn't have to put together something with this many flowers from the grocery store. And like you saw, I still have a bunch left over that I can make a second arrangement with, but it's just fun to have something fresh and pretty to look at all the time, if you can possibly do it. It's so worth the effort. So anyway, thanks guys for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye.